So we need to take all five lotion bars mm -hmm. for the show. My name is Tanya Zurok, and I'm the founder and owner of Wild Prairie Soap Company. So once these are packed, we'll move on to the to the other kinds that we have. Yep. We are leaving for Japan to work on some brand events that we're promoting with our distributor, as well as take part in meetings that we have set up. We're bringing all 15s and 50 and grams. Our, well, yeah. Yeah. I started making soap in the beginning because my oldest daughter, who was just a toddler, had really bad skin, and I couldn't find a solution on the market that helped her. So started my business in my kitchen, and 20 years later, as an Edmonton-based company, we've just grown and grown and grown. Hopefully it all fits in my suitcase. <laughs> going to do a demo this afternoon of our products, which is now available at Tokyo Hands. So you use it as a moisturizer anywhere that you're dry on your body. Our distributors are here with us today, and we also have Manami from the Alberta Japan office who will assist with any translation. So they're made with Canadian beeswax, coconut oil, coconut vitamin oil, E. Coconut oil and Canada has a Coming in and seeing Wild Prairie Soap Company products on the shelves is really exciting for us. I get a little bit giddy when I see it. Konnichiwa. To see it in another country and to know the work that it took to get here and to launch, um, it's pretty exciting. That's fantastic. Good job. Thank you. One of the biggest learning curves for me was to figure out the skincare market in Japan. Looking at how they use product different than we do, the choices that they make in the products was something I had to figure out before we could launch our products. This was just a very fast insert. Having meetings is a big part of doing business in Japan. So often the meeting day will be eight or nine hours. I agree, I really love this product. The Japanese team is a distributor. Their name is Chuo Busan Corporation. And they are responsible for not only importing and clearing our products, but also selling it to retailers in Japan. We can produce over what you want. And even if they don't order it, we can sell it in Canada. One of the new products that's launching in the spring is the soap dish. It has a great response, just as it does in Canada. And so I think they're really excited to get that launched. And they do realize that our brand really did start with our soap, right? You take a yep. new flavor here, yep. <laughs> depending and on the feel. Definitely people are doing that for sure. One of the biggest benefits of exporting, I really get to explore Japan in a much deeper way. And on this trip, I'm bringing my partner, Jason. There's so many parts of Tokyo where you just don't feel like you're in a big city. Like there's huge parks that are serene and beautiful and it gets you out of that busyness and it just gives you a really different perspective about the city. Part of what I love about exporting is I get to speak to so many different people about our brand and our products. Tonight we are here presenting our brand to a group of influencers and people who are interested in natural skincare and beauty. So if you want to open it, and we're going to get you to use the back of your hand and just twist it up and rub it on one of your hands. An event like this provides us an opportunity to really get to know the actual consumer and to see our products in their hands and to be able to talk to them about it, to um, get their feedback and to share our history and company information with them. What it does is it keeps us so very dry in between uses so it lasts twice as long. I mean, when you're talking about something you're passionate about and you want to share that message, I think it's exciting. This is great. If you would have told me five years ago that I would be selling my products in Japan, I would have thought you were crazy. But it has honestly been the most rewarding thing I've done for my company and myself. Mm, Fuji. Ooh, I like That's a good view. I like the Fuji. Just standing 
and looking out over Tokyo and knowing that our products are selling here now is such an amazing feeling. Oh my God, I have to take another picture. It has challenged me in ways that I wasn't expecting and it's pushed me in directions that I didn't know were possible. But I've learned so much on the journey and I'm really excited about where our little Edmonton company can go. Yeah.